On the hill tonight for the Giants will be the left-handed veteran Blake Snell, 6'4", 225-pound, 31-year-old. And Snell is just starting his ninth year at the big league level. Got him. Pump 97. A lot of strikeouts with the fastballs up across the letters. Got him. Mizuna doesn't think that was a strike, but it was in the box. Well, it started out high, and when he's got it going, even a hanger can lock you up. If you're hitting left-handed against Snell, that, that, that can happen. Got him. Snell strikes out the side. Giants are coming up. So Chris Sale, what can he do tonight? His 22nd start of the season. Just keep doing what you've been doing. He has been really good, as you can see there, two earned runs in fewer, or fewer, I should say, in 18 of his 21 starts, but he's been on a good run, 10 straight. Swing and a miss. Slider gets Ramos, a big first out for Chris Sale. It's a big one again because he is so good against lefties, but also that was a tough at bat. Ultimately, it was eight pitches to get it done and coming back from a 3-1 count. That is big time from Chris Sale. But Sale gets it back to back strikeouts. Fantastic here from Chris Sale to go with the heater up above the strike zone 95 miles an hour. You get yourself in a first and third nobody out situation. Two big time strikeouts. Matt Chapman has been swinging the bat extremely well. Sale has him 0 2. Grounder to third. Riley has it. What a job by Chris Sale to get out of that jam with no damage done. Got him. Slider. See ya. Clock's going to run out. And a pop up. Bailey couldn't find it. Now he does. In time. It's the worst feeling. You know it's up there. And guys are yelling behind you. You got it. But you don't see it. And you know, hey, there it is. He finds it late. <laughs> yeah. We can laugh about it now. Don't get fooled on the curveball. That's how good his curveball is. Jam shot. Schmidt charging, throwing, got him. And that'll end the inning. Yastrzemski, Luciano, Bailey coming up. Swing and a miss. Third strikeout already for sale. Now this is the money pitch when it comes to the swing and miss, especially for these poor lefties that have to stand in and try to hit this slider right there. Yes. Patrick Bailey knew it. You cannot argue that call. Four strikeouts now for Sale. A good heater right here and going right at Patrick Bailey, who, as we talked about, is becoming a really good player, but as a switch hitter, a lot worse against the lefties and the righties, and Chris Sale knew that and just went right at him. And he's looking for it right here on this next pitch. That's in play, though. Riley has this one. And we are on our way to the third inning. Right back to where it came from. The ball retired. Let's see. Did he get it? No. He did not. Side retired. Giants are coming up. And get a big gap there in right center field at 415. Riley climbing the ladder, and the soft liner is taken into his glove. It sounded louder than it was just 85 miles an hour off the bat and a really nice play here from Austin Riley. It's a good point though about the outfield. Right field is very difficult to navigate here. Easy work in the bottom of the third for Chris Sale.
to the Triple Crown race. And that's not going to help. Strikeout number five. And this is what you don't want on your baseball card. No, I mean, he's trying to bounce it on home play. I mean, that's the design of the pitch ahead, two strike count. And he missed it by two feet. Olsen rolls this one to Fitzgerald. That'll help the pitch count. Save yourself up looking fastball, but you're thinking curveball. He got him on a swing in a minute. Bailey recovers. Side retired. Six strikeout. For the Giants, Chapman to lead things off. And he had three more runs driven in yesterday. But he is 0 for 2 tonight with a pair of strikeouts. I'm probably thinking the same way I was a little bit wondering whether or not we were going to see another fastball up in the zone and then by the time he realizes this is a breaking ball and probably going to be a strike you take an ugly hack like that. One two to Yastrzemski he got him. Eight in a row set down for sale. He already has a half dozen strikeouts, and this was a good pitch here, CJ. It certainly was, and you could see it coming from a mile away. After that fastball in, no chance on a slider down and away. Got him. See ya. It's a slider, but he goes right back in on the hands. I mean, that's the thing that, you know, the more we see him pitch, he's not hanging that slider. That's exactly. Two, two. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Strikes out the side. He's got nine. Marco Luciano, a rookie, the Giants' top prospect. Diving stop. Spins around, throws to first. Wow. They got him. Sensational. Absolutely amazing here from Austin Riley. It looked like he had a chance to catch this in the air. Let's take a peek. He goes full extension. He had it. It trickles away. He recovers nicely. He knows he does not have time to get up. So from one knee, a couple of hops, and then the big stretch on the other end from Matt Olson. Add that one to the list. Frozen pizza. Patrick Bailey is down looking. That is twice that he has gone down on strikes and looking at a fastball from Chris Sale. Last time it was 96 miles an hour, a three pitch punch out. Here is 96 miles an hour again. Four pitch was five pitch punch out. Oh, Sale caught it! Wow. <laughs> Absolutely smile as intense as this is and amazing from Chris Sale. You can get a little bit of a smile after that play. Incredible. He might need to change his underwear, but he got the baseball and a one, two, three inning. He's retired 11 in a row. Cat like reflexes. Watch Chris Sale charge this line drive. That's 104 miles an hour coming at you, and that just found the glove. That's, that's why you have a special relationship with your mitt. Here's Soler. Merrifield goes. He doesn't waste any time. Bailey's throw, and they got him! Schmidt with a terrific tag. I'll tell you one thing, Casey Schmidt has quick hands. And you need him to put a tag like this. It's a nice dig and then a slap tag, and he gets him right on the backside before that hand touches the base. All right, he got him on the shoulder. And Snell remembers it. He hadn't thrown that curveball in this sequence. It's been all fastballs and changeups. Got him. Got him. Ten strikeouts. 
Seven strikeouts so far for Sale. Eight strikeouts tonight for Chris Sale. He gets Fitzgerald looking. It's paint and it's with velocity, but in a perfect location here from Chris Sale. Not a lot Fitzgerald could do with this pitch anyway. You can see where Sean Murphy is set up, and that is down and in and catching the corner. Sale got him. 13 in a row retired for Chris Sale. Nine strikeouts. And reaching back for a little bit more here with this fastball. Location is on point, but the velocity at 96 miles an hour, the best of both worlds there for Chris Sale. Two down and a one two pitch. He got him. Snell and Sale. Toe to toe, blow for blow, strikeout for strikeout. Each of them with 10 tonight. Tyler Fitzgerald, good morning. Mark Canna, good afternoon. Elliot Ramos, good night. And a base hit down the left field line. Ozuna is going to go for two. Here's the throw, and it's offline. The first hit for the Braves. I mean, you think about it. You know, his last four starts, he had one where he had six perfect innings. He threw a no hitter, and tonight he takes a no hitter into the seventh inning. I don't know if anybody's ever had a stretch like that. Got him. That's a competitive fastball. And that was 114 on the pitch count. And strikeout number 11, and this might have been the biggest strikeout of the night. That's going to be the last pitch he'll throw. But what a, a night for Snell. And this place is going to go off when he walks off the field. Blake Snow departs. Snell finished with 11. Sale right now with 10. It's the first time since the end of May that this has happened. Yes, there's 11 for Chris Sale. And it's four straight strikeouts as well. And that's what makes it so impressive because right now he is in the middle of the lineup. The pitch count is in the mid 90s and yet he is carving these guys up continually. One two as he looks for strikeout one two. He's got it. Season high 12 strikeouts for Chris Sale. Simply amazing here. It ends up being a backdoor breaking ball but it doesn't matter even though Sean Murphy was set up in. And he's done it twice, and we've talked about the issues for any lefties. In this. Two two popped up over goes Olsen, but he'll run out of room. Yep. No, he won. <laughs> the wind brought it back, <laughs> and Olsen grabs it, and the seventh is over. And Chris Sale adds to his Cy Young resume in 2024 with a gym tonight.